Hi there, this is Fred, FR5ED, the five is silent, here to do a quick beer review. Uh, this is Smutty Nose Big A IPA. This is from their Big Beer series. I thought I'd already reviewed this, so I already have opened and poured it mistakenly. But anyway, uh, I, what I had reviewed before was the Finest Kind IPA from Smutty Nose, which I had one of those the other day, as a matter of fact. Uh, and I forget how I reviewed it here. But I uh, had a pint of it at a local beer pub and wasn't that impressed uh, with that finest kind. Um, it was quite bitter. In fact, the bitterness hung in there for quite a while and the, the flavors and aromas were rather muted. So I uh, wasn't overly impressed. So I'll have to go back and see how I reviewed it here on YouTube uh, a while back. Anyway, this, uh, this is a different one. Smutty Nose Big A IPA. Uh, this actually is rated at, hang on a second. It's rated at a 99 on ratebeer.com, and it is rated at a 90 on uh, beeradvocate.com. It is 9.6% ABV, and it's uh, considered a double or an imperial IPA. So anyway, when I opened and poured this, let's pretend I'm just not doing it, it had about a, a two-finger a, a two head on it. Lots of nice lacing going on now. Got a nice big full double IPA smell, lots of, of uh, fruit and you can smell the malt. Kind of a biscuity sweet malt smell and there's that pineapple melon citrus uh, aroma. So let's give it a, and it's, it's, it's a light orangey honey color. Uh, I'm gonna give it a taste now. Wow, very, it's got that big bold full mouth feel of a double IPA. Plenty of hop bitterness in there. Again, it, it's it's similar hop bitterness to the uh, the finest kind IPA that I had the other day. Um, you know, it's that bitterness that really bites in there and hangs all over your tongue. I'm almost not real fond of that. I like a hop bitterness that's in there. It makes itself known, and then it tends to fade back as the flavor fades back, rather than just leaving you with this this potent bitterness on the back of the tongue, the sides of the tongue. So it, I, I suspect they're using similar, if not the same hops uh, in this one. Let me taste it again. It's a good tasting double IPA. I, I like it. It's just that the bitterness hangs in there and is almost overwhelming. If you're a real bitter, 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 high, I don't know how many IBUs this is, See if it gives me any hint of that over here. Um, not on that one. Let's check over here. ABV, weighted ABV ratings. Not not seeing the IBUs on it, but anyway, it seems like they're up there. <laughs> so anyway, um, on a five star scale, probably give it th three to three and a half, three probably. The flavor is good. I just, you know, for being a hop head, I'm a little put off by how bitter, bitter the aftertaste is uh, but good mouthfeel good aroma good flavor um, you know that's the one drawback to me ironically is that it's an overwhelming you know very very tar not even tart but it's it's a bitterness that like a quinine bitterness that's just kind of hanging in there so anyway that's it this is fred fr5ed over and out